he could not hide his ecstasy as he penetrated the cameras of journalists towards the conference hall in Algeria. But he also did not lose the sobriety of the diplomat representing the charisma of a country called Morocco. His penetration was calm, smiling, elegant. Like hacking his plane and with the Moroccan flag, those Algerian airspace closed by a presidential decision there. Applause was waiting for him, and hugs before entering the hall. Everyone was waiting for Morocco to save the Arab summit from failure, and Morocco was at the level of the hopes and aspirations of its Arab colleagues and brothers. Therefore, the applause did not stop the moment he entered the hall. He was not tired of exchanging greetings and peace with the majority of delegations. How eloquent and intimate was the reception of the Minister of Foreign Affairs of Mauritania. And the brotherly embrace there inside Algeria, how embarrassing it was for the cabarets who bet on isolating Morocco from Morocco. It is Mauritania after the recent Libyan meeting in Rabat. As for Tunisia, peace be upon you. Yes. The prominent event on social media platforms and social media was the arrival of Mr. Nasabai Wright and he was the most prominent event is the complete absence of news of his arrival in the Algerian official media institutions. The event was also the event and the world is following it. This is the noticeable absence of the owner of the house in receiving his guests to show the people of the globe the moral level of this system and strip it from the minimum level of normal education. So how about the diplomatic maturity that such meetings impose and understand and assimilate the values of statesmen? Mr. Bowriter, the representative of Morocco, did not intrude on your state, you fools, idiots, and lacking in education and morals. Rather, at the invitation of your president, who was received with a similar rank in Rabat. He did not intrude on your lands, but rather as an influential member of the Arab League, with prestige and prestige expressed by applause the moment Assad entered the hall and in their pockets a supportive stance for the Moroccan Sahara. Mr. Bayrite and with him all Moroccan officials did not issue them alone the hour is what offends the Algerian regime and its people that you do not receive it in your homes as a guest, and open the atmosphere against your will. You are in this contradictory position in the category of those who are afraid and are not ashamed, like the position of Lamamra six months ago, and he promises everyone with the intention of discussing the Saharan issue at the Arab summit, to come the absolute denial from the representative of Algeria at the United Nations. That's how you are, with a lot of slaps. You have no face to meet, even a Moroccan cub, so how about the African lion? Six hours of Mr. Nasabai writer's stay in Algeria is enough for him to be the star of the meeting. It's also enough for the world to know the size of the sick tumor in the mentality and souls of this gang that insulted by this behavior the state of Algeria, its people and the history of its martyrs. The size of the scandal of the skulls of agents and traitors. As for the lions when they go to drink, the hyenas give way to them. And how strong the moment was. An example and earthquake by all standards is that the Algerian regime should be condemned inside Algeria when Mr. Bowriter presented, in his speech during the meeting, an Arab-backed draft resolution condemning Iran for arming the Polisario movement with drones and holding the Algerian regime responsible for embracing a terrorist movement that threatens the security of the Kingdom of Morocco. Face and in the presence of all, with audible voice and head held high, the Algerian regime, assume your responsibilities. Patience has limits. It is what remains when the story ends and the storytellers leave after the summit, to descend to the destruction of mice and insects passing through. Yusuf Garib is a writer and journalist.